In these uncertain economic times, it's easy to be worried about protecting your wealth, your hard-earned savings, and your family's financial future. Plunging interest rates, the devaluating dollar, and political unrest constantly threaten what you have worked hard to earn and all that you own. That's why now it's more important than ever to protect your assets and have the money you need to make your dreams come true. Welcome to the Global Wealth Fortress Report with successful global entrepreneur and wealth preservation expert, Joel Nagel. Joel's helped thousands of people just like you protect what you have so that you can make even more and make your every dream come true. So sit back and enjoy Joel Nagel's offshore expert advice on how you can live the good life at a great price, where the sun never sets on your financial fortress. Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Global Wealth Fortress Report. I'm Joel Nagel, and I'm coming to you today from the Prater Amusement Park, which is right at the tip of the Greater Prater Park, which was started in 1766. It was gifted to the people by the Austrian Emperor and uh, was turned into an area for recreation right in the middle of the city. The amusement park itself only takes up maybe 10 acres, uh, but the other, you know, there's several thousand acres that go on behind it as hiking and biking and every kind of field imaginable from, you know, soccer and rugby, lacrosse, field hockey, American football, American baseball. It really just goes on and on and on. So, um, yeah, it's really a tremendous place to be. And as I mentioned in the last episode, uh, they're getting ready to build the Oktoberfest tent, literally right where I'm sitting. So uh, in a day or so, I'm not going to be able to film in this spot. And it's such a great spot that I didn't want to let the day go by without uh, filming this episode. You know, in the last episode, I was talking a little bit about the fact that virtually all countries have some kind of residency or citizenship program based on investment. The investment gives you preference. It gives you a shortcut. It reduces the time to citizenship. It does something. And, and the idea is that the investor is bringing something to the table that the country needs, like investment capital, creating jobs, hiring employees, whatever it is. And in return, you know, they get sort of a special deal. And, um, you know, I mean, even the United States has a, has a program like this. Uh, it's the EB-5 and the E-2 investor visas. And uh, they're really the quickest way to get green cards, except for marrying uh, an American citizen. And uh, some people will tell you that, well, this is a new phenomenon, but it's really not. This type of citizenship by investment has been around for literally thousands of years. If you want, you know, take a look in your, in your Bible and the book of Acts. You'll see in the book of Acts that uh, the Apostle Paul is out preaching the gospel and he's captured by an angry mob and he's turned over to some Roman soldiers and he's about to be flogged. And as they're tearing his shirt off and tying him to a pole, he asks sort of rhetorically, hey, is it legal for you to beat a Roman citizen who hasn't even been tried? And the one Roman you know, asks kind of in shock, you're a Roman citizen? He says, yes, I am. He says where he was born. And the other Roman captain said, I had to pay a lot of money to get my citizenship. So you can see, I mean, this is 2,000 years ago, and um, you know, people are making the comment that they paid money for their citizenship. So there's lots of ways you can get citizenship. You can be born in a country. You can you know, have ancestral links and ties. Uh, you can move there. You can go through the residency process, or you can take one of these shortcuts and uh, make an investment, or in some cases, uh, you can support philanthropy. In other cases, just write an, uh, an outright check and uh, you clear background uh, check and you're in. And uh, so those programs are very popular. We've been talking about those. Um, I mentioned yesterday I was going to talk specifically about Cyprus. Cyprus is a country I really love. It's, you know, it's, it has a, a Greek feel to it, but obviously it was a, uh, you know, it was most recently a, a British colony before it became independent. Uh, it's an ancient historic land. Some of the earliest known humans uh, discoveries have been uh, on the island of Cyprus. And they have two wonderful programs I'm just going to talk about. They have a residency program 
that starts at 300,000 euros and they have a uh, investment program for direct citizenship. Now it's a little pricey, it's 2 million euros, uh, but it's not a payment to the government the way Malta and some of the other countries uh, programs are, but rather it's an investment. So if you have the capital and you can afford to buy a piece of real estate at that level or higher, that can qualify you for citizenship. That is your property forever. You can use it, you can rent it. Uh, within a few years, you can sell it, get your money back off the table. So that that's that program. Now, the residence program is much cheaper. It's 300,000 instead of 2 million, uh, but the residence program will only be converted from residence to citizenship if you go and live there. If you don't live there, no problem. You're gonna get your residency card. You can come and go as much as you want. You can travel around Europe as much as you want. You know, you have all of the privileges of a European uh, person, but you don't have the actual citizenship. You, know, you don't have a passport. Some people don't care about the passport. Maybe they have other passports. They have a, uh, a good passport. They don't really care. But um, if you come from a country with a, a terrible passport, let's say China, Russia, some of these other countries, you know, if they apply for a Cypriot passport and they get it, then not only can they live and work anywhere in, in Europe, but they can travel to the United States very easily. So they don't have to worry about, you know, long lines and, you know, consulate offices in uh, Beijing and, and Moscow. Now, this has never been an issue in the past for Americans, uh, but since the advent of coronavirus, we've seen more and more Americans also looking at the Cyprus program. Um, again, it's a, uh, it's a very fast program. You, once you pass the background check and you know uh, decide on the property, um, your citizenship is processed within 90 days. I really don't know of any program that's faster than that. Uh, most reputable developers will uh, allow you to put the money for the uh, purchase in escrow. And if for whatever reason your citizenship is turned down, uh, then the contract is canceled and you get your money back. So there's no risk in, in that sense. Now I get the fact that the 2 million euros is, is a lot of money and many people that watch this video won't be able to afford that. But the 300,000 is really one of the lowest uh, out there for residents. It's, um, you know, it's very compatible with, let's say Greece, which is 250,000 and with Portugal. I, I went through the, the various Portuguese options, which uh, range from 280,000 up to 500,000. So Cyprus is really good in, in that regard. Um, I really love it. It's a it's a wonderful place, a wonderful culture, great weather. You can see we're having great weather here in Austria today, but um, you know, as we come up upon mid-September, the weather's gonna change pretty fast. We've spent a lot of time in, in Cyprus, you know, late into the fall. You know, the winter isn't quite as warm as, as places like Florida. Uh, but, you know, with a sweater, it, it gets down into the 50s, maybe the 60s. Then it bounces right back. Very pleasant. Uh, most of the year around is, is very uh, temperate. Uh, it has a lot of sunshine. And I, I really, really love it as a country uh, and highly recommend it for people looking for uh, a fast second passport that they can qualify for uh, without a lot of uh, bureaucracy. Again, you do have to pass a background check. They're not gonna take you if you've had any uh, major criminal conviction, any kind of felony, something like that. They're not gonna accept you. But otherwise, uh, you're pretty good to go. And as long as you make that investment, you can qualify either at the residence level, 300,000 euros, or the citizenship level, 2 million. So I hope that you enjoyed this segment about Cyprus. There's also a companion article uh, that goes into a lot more detail about the Cyprus citizenship by investment. I hope you'll click on that. Uh, there's also uh, several reports that you can click on uh, that you can get for free if you have more interest in this subject. Tomorrow I'm gonna finish out this, this uh, initial series on residence and citizenship by investment. And I'm gonna be talking about Bulgaria. Uh, a lot of people are probably scratching their heads saying, Joel, why are you telling me about Bulgaria? I think you'll find out it's really fascinating it's now fully integrated into Western Europe. It's a little bit cheaper than some of the other um, immediate citizenship programs. You can get your citizenship there in about one year. So uh, I hope you'll join me tomorrow for another edition of the Global Wealth Fortress Report. Until then, I wish you health, 
I wish you happiness and I wish you a wealth that can't be taken by others. See you tomorrow. Thanks for joining Joel Nagel and the Global Wealth Fortress Report, a whole new approach to asset protection and estate planning so that now you can live the good life at a great price where the sun never sets on your financial fortress.